Hey everybody, Gareth here on behalf of Quizzes and we're taking a deep dive into some of the best features that they have to offer. Today we're going to take a look at Google Classroom integration. It's one of their best features and I'm excited to show it off. Let's take a look. Connecting your class to Quizzes through Google Classroom is now easier than ever. From the main page, simply click on Classes and from there click on Connect Google Classroom. Once you choose the account that you'd like to use, from there click the Import button. By default, all your classes will be imported, however, you can simply turn a class off by unchecking it. Once you've finished importing, you can head back to the dashboard, click on the class you'd like to select, and it will provide you with a full list of all the students. It will also tell you who has and hasn't accepted the invitation to join the Quizzes Classroom. If there are ever any issues, you can always resend the invite to your entire Google Classroom. And finally, by clicking on the three dots, you can edit the class details, you can again resend the invites, or you can archive the class when you're finished with it. And from the student side, once they log into their Google Classroom, they'll see an invitation front and center in the stream. They simply click on the invite link. If the student has never been on quizzes before, all they do is click on sign up with Google, or they can enter an alternate email and from there they just accept the invitation. You can also enter a parent or guardian email address for security purposes, and now the student is automatically in the quizzes class. The parent will receive an introductory email letting them know they've been listed as a parent or guardian for the quizzes account. Back at the teacher dashboard, you can now see when people have accepted the invitation, and from there you can click on the three dots for that student and either edit their student details or remove them from the class. Now that you've got your Google Classroom all set up, it's time to assign some quizzes. Start by clicking on My Library, choose the lesson or quiz you'd like to assign, and from there you have two choices of either starting a live quiz or assigning it as homework. Regardless of whether you choose a live quiz or a homework assignment, you will be given the option to now assign it to a Google Classroom. Simply click on Select, click on the class that you'd like to assign it to, and then hit Next. Now that you're all set up, click on Assign, and the quiz has officially been assigned to your Google Classroom. From the student side of things, a pop-up will appear showing that an assignment has been given to them, and once they click on Play, it automatically goes into the Quizzes Game Mode. Once a student is finished, you can then go to the Reports menu, see the individual student's performance. You can even choose to email the results to the parent. Back over in the Google Classroom student dashboard, each time a student submits a quiz, it shows up as graded work. On the right hand side, they will have links to each report for every single time they attempt to take the quiz. Perhaps most important is how easy it is for teachers to see student classwork in the Google Classroom dashboard. You simply click on the classwork tab, choose the quizzes assignment, and from there you can see how many people have turned in the assignment so far. Once you click on a student's name, it's already scored for you, and it shows you every single instance that a student tried to take the quiz. You can click on the History button to also see exactly when they submitted each quiz. And finally, you can click on any of the quiz's attempts to see a full-on report. Each attempt has a tab at the top, and you can scroll down and see the exact answers given as well as how long it took them to answer each question. There's no better time to get started than now, so make sure you head on over to quizzes.com, get yourself set up with an account, and until then, we'll see you next time. Bye.